the family of, who along with their baby and dog were mysteriously found dead in Northern California earlier this month, are waiting to find out how they died. One thing the family believes, that their loved ones were not murdered. We are mystified like everyone else. I don't want to say a great deal as there is a lot going on, John's father Peter told the Daily. We are just waiting for the authorities to do all the tests. We are in touch with them and are awaiting the final analysis. We don't believe they were murdered, Peter said. We just want people to get on with the task at hand. A Mariposa County Sheriff's Office spokesperson tells people that while investigators haven't ruled out anything, they are not focusing on a potential homicide. Murder is not high on our list, the spokesperson said. John, Chung, their one-year-old daughter Mijo and family dog Oski were reported missing from their home in Mariposa County, California, on August 16th. The next day, all four of them were found dead in the Devil's Gulch section of the nearby Heights Cove Trail. An initial autopsy yielded little information about how the family died leaving authorities and loved ones to wait for the results of a pending toxicology report for more clues. A necrology report is also being conducted on the dog. Both reports could take up to several weeks. Investigators have been looking at a breadth of possible causes of the family's deaths, for a couple days. The scene was even being treated as a possible hazmat situation due to the presence of toxic algae in a nearby river. Current scene information does not indicate a clear picture of what occurred or a clear cause of death, the scene is currently being handled as a hazmat and coroner investigation, the Mariposa County Sheriff's Office said in its first and only press release on the situation so far. John was reportedly found in a seated position with Mijo and Oski near him, while Chung was found a ways away from them up a hill, according to the Washington Post. Friends and neighbors have been left baffled by the deaths. It's just so tragic and mysterious, family friend Steve and Jeff told the Washington Post on Sunday, adding, we're just devastated by the loss. But I think the community is more like, what the heck happened? It's just so crazy, he said. Mariposa County Sheriff's spokesperson Christy Mitchell told Fox over the weekend that investigators have considered whether toxic gases, toxic algae and carbon monoxide from abandoned mines near the area may have contributed to the deaths. She also noted that there were no physical wounds, signs of trauma or suicide notes to indicate their deaths were intentional. We're not focusing on one specific cause at this point. There's just still so many that we can't rule out, Mitchell said. I think it's going to be a very long and in-depth, thorough investigation because it isn't as clear-cut as what some cases are. 